Hi guys, um, so I decided I'm going to do something I've been really wanting to try to do on this channel um, because it's probably like my favorite type of video to watch, which is a what I eat in a day and I've been not doing it because, well, when I have work, which is most of the time, it's hard to do. When I don't, it's just kind of everything is crazy and I don't eat consistently or um, I guess I feel like I don't eat well, and I just realized that I'm going to just do it and show you guys what I actually eat and not what I want to think that I eat. So to start out, I just woke up and I'm eating some, eating some water, uh-huh. Um, I'm drinking some water. This was only about half full when I woke up, so I basically haven't had anything yet. But it'll be like half a liter. Okay, this is probably breakfast part one, but I've got some persimmons and there are like seven of them. I'll probably eat like three or something and then I will let you know what else I eat. So I've got some homemade soy milk that I added a little bit of sugar to and heated up in the microwave and I drank all of the rest of what it was in that big glass as well. So I didn't really end up eating anything else for breakfast, so this is my lunch. Oh my god, look how dirty that potato is. Um, yeah, potatoes basically here, you get them straight out of the ground. Um, there's still a bunch of dirt on them. And here is me cutting up just a cucumber. I peeled it and cut it up, and then I microwaved the sweet potato. And so it was kind of a lunch, but very, very simple. Um, I just added a little bit of garlic powder and some pepper to the sweet potato. Not really much else was going for <laughs> really lazy on this one. Um, but of course it was really good because sweet potatoes and cucumbers are great. So I'm working on my soy milk still, but I'm just going to have a little bit of chocolate. So I'm holding it upside down because I opened it. Down, but it's chocolate, it's dark chocolate with hazelnut. Mm. It's decent. Most of the chocolate here is like European chocolate. So it tastes very different from American chocolate. If you're used to American chocolate, just so you know. So after that, I decided to make some rice in my rice cooker. So there was the white rice, and I also had some of this black rice, which I like to mix the two together. So it was about a cup of black rice to two cups of white rice. And then I just washed it really well, like two or three times, and then put it in my rice cooker. Then as a snack, I had some of these tiny little bananas. Um, they're really adorable, and I had all three of them. So it's like 4 o'clock now and I am just super hungry. So I'm thinking of maybe I'll do a snack because I don't want to like not eat a full dinner. So my snack ended up being some of that black and white rice which you can see kind of looks purple. And um, some I guess homemade kimchi that I was attempting to make. It's not spicy kimchi and it's only okay but it's also the second time I ever made it um, and so it was just those two things with a little bit of sweet chili sauce so here's me um, getting my dinner ready so I started with a pack of tofu which I chopped up into little cubes and then made a marinade for which had about um, two, two spoonfuls of soy sauce um, and then I added some sesame oil I think about one spoonful and sorry that this is totally badly out of focus. The next thing I added was Baoning vinegar, which is just this special seasoned type of vinegar. It's native to Sichuan. Um, and so then I added some chili, some garlic, and some ginger. Uh, as you can see, this is where my uh, camera skills just get awful. Um, can't really see anything I'm doing. And then I try to fix it and don't really make it better. So, if you didn't notice, I had put half a chili in, and then I'm just chopping up a little bit of ginger, and I proceed to do the same with garlic, but I will not torture you too much with the rest of the bad camera skills. So here are my vegetables. This is, I honestly don't know what it's called, but it just looks like really tall grass. And here is a kind of old little bit of 
Chinese celery um, that I just needed to get rid of. So I just chopped everything up, um, chopped the celery up into tiny pieces and the whatever sort of grass thing that it was uh, chopped it into slightly larger strips. So then I went on to cooking my tofu, which I just used a little bit of, uh, I think that's canola oil, I'm not really sure what type of oil it is, and the tofu, which I had marinated for maybe an hour or two, I don't, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I just fried it on each side until it was nice and golden, um, and you can see there, it looks nice and pretty, and then I just did that, uh, you know, batches at a time with all of the tofu that I had until it was all done. And of course, I didn't eat all the tofu at once. I ended up saving it, um, using it for lunches for the next couple days. And so then, in the same pan, I didn't add any more oil. I just sauteed my vegetables and added a tiny bit of soy sauce. Um, and then a little bit of garlic powder. And I actually did end up adding a little bit of sesame oil at the end. Sorry, it's my bad for forgetting. Uh, but that's about it. It was very, very simple, and I just had it with that black rice, the vegetables. So I had all of the vegetables and then just a little bit, a couple pieces of the tofu. Uh, and along with my dinner there, I had a vitamin D tablet and a multivitamin. So at about 8.30, I believe it was, I had some buckwheat tea, um, which is herbal, no caffeine at all. Um, it's actually definitely a like Sichuan style tea and I actually really really like it. Um, on top of that I also was continuing to drink water. I'd say that's probably, you know, I'd probably gone through about a liter and a half at that point in the day. Okay so it's 11 o'clock and normally I'd be in bed about to go to sleep now but I was Skyping with my parents and it's time for a bit of a snack. Um, I've got these little mochi balls. They're green tea mochi. And luckily enough, they had the ingredients on the back um, in English. So I was able to tell that they are vegan. Um, so I'm probably going to have one of these and maybe a, another square of chocolate. I just, I don't know. I guess I'm just in the mood. This one is a double dark chocolate mousse. A square of chocolate and a mochi ball and then I'm finally going to bed <laughs> hey guys so um, this is me re-recording my outro for this video and this is future jewels if you can't tell by my hair being kind of different and by that I mean quit a bit longer um, basically my ability to take a video of myself and my ability to take the time to edit it and upload it um, don't really line up very well at this point and that's partially because it's easier to put out a camera and record something than it is to actually um, sit down and edit it but I just want to say thank you guys so much for anyone that actually watches this I know right now my videos are crap I'm working on it the things I've recorded in the future that I am not yet putting up I think I've at least recorded slightly better um, and hopefully my editing skills will improve as I go along so I mean, suggestions on that are really more than I could even hope for at this point. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching. I'm not sure why you are, but thank you, because this is fun for me. <laughs>